Hello, so for today's video we're going to be doing something quite different. So I saw this post on Pat McGrath's Instagram, um, obviously you'll see it here, and it is beautiful, okay, like I want gold brows to be a thing forever. Um, so we're going to attempt to do this today. Um, I've sort of got how I'm going to do it in my head. If it comes out, well, well, you'll know because it'll be on here. And if it doesn't, you'll never ever see this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got like an idea in mind of how I'm going to achieve the look. Obviously, Pat is just chef's kiss. Like she's, she's brilliant. Okay, like she is amazing. Everything she does is just truly remarkable. Obviously, yeah, just beautiful. I'll link her Instagram below so you can check out posts and stuff. Um, so yeah, let's start the video. So I'm going to throw in a little clip of me doing a skin prep because skin prep is super 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 important and I feel like even though the main focus is the eyebrows and the eyes we really want the skin to be flawless as well obviously I don't have flawless skin that's perfectly fine we can achieve flawless skin with lumps bumps redness pigmentation whatever it's it's skin you know not everyone has that kind of skin so yeah we're gonna quickly just move on to do that Okay, so to start off, I used the Dermalogica Ultra Calming Cleanser. So I literally washed my face with this prior to this video because you don't need to see me washing my face. So then I took the Dermalogica Multi Active Toner. So I literally just spritzed this on the face and then I was just letting it dry before I went in with other products. I then took the Kills. This is the Extract Activizing Treatment Essence. So it's literally an essence. So I just took a few drops into the hand about Thor and then I just smoothed this onto the skin. I then took the Dermalogica Calm Water Gel and I just patted this into the skin. I absolutely love this. I've gone through multiple bottles of this, maybe like three to four now. Um, it's super, super good. It's really hydrating without irritating the skin and without adding any oiliness either. And then I used the Nurse Jamie tool. So this, I actually don't know what this is called, but it'll all be linked in the bottom bar. Um, so I just used this to just roll it in and give my skin a good massage. Um, obviously you don't have to use something like this. You could use a jade roller, you can use your fingers, you can use whatever you're happy with. It's just, I bought the Nurse Jamie tool, so I use it and I really do love it. Then to finish it off, I used the Kiehl's Ultra Light Daily UV Defense. So this is an SPF of 50 and it's like anti-pollution, it's good for um, UVA, UVB and you know, help signs of aging and blue light and yeah, it's really good. This is only a small one. I have gone for a big chew, but they didn't have none of the big chews when I went to buy it. So I was like, well, I need SPF in my life. So I went ahead and just bought the smaller one. You can buy this from Space NK. So that is skin prep done. Yeah, so that was skin prep. So I feel like obviously Pat is very, she's very well known for skin and eyes. I feel like that's her real achievement. Um, So yeah. Skin prep is important. I also did put on lip balm, so because my lips are crusty as hell. So this is the Kiehl's Butter Butter Mask for Lips. So this is like an overnight one, but honestly, I love it during the day. Um, it's really hydrating. It's gonna just really pack a punch. So <laughs> let's actually jump into it. So for brows. I'm actually gonna glue my brows down. So you're probably not gonna see much of this because it is gonna probably take me a while. I've never ever done it before, but I feel like because of the glitter, it must have been like she didn't really have any brows or she laid them down or maybe she's just got naturally non-thick brows. I don't quite know. Um, but yeah, obviously I do have quite a bit of hair. So I'm going to lay them flat down. I don't think I'm going to cover them though. I think I just want them to stick flat. So I can really get that glitter on and really sort of pack it on without it. Like my hair sort of like pulling forward, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to take the big glue stick. And this is coloured, but it dries uh, clear or transparent. So it's literally purple. Um, you can get these absolutely anywhere. I got them off of um, Amazon. I think they're like, I think I got like two for three quid or something like they're super super cheap um so yeah we're gonna sort of quickly speed through me doing this um i've got like um a beautylish website that was like oh how to draw on your eyebrows so i'll link it below so you can like check it out as well if you obviously wanted to by the way if you're using glue make sure it's non-toxic okay so don't obviously put anything on your brows that isn't good and they recommend this one or the elmer's glue mm -hmm. so yes 
zoomed you in a little bit closer. So I feel like they are stuck down, like we have about 50 layers of glue. <laughs> Um, so obviously you'll see the gist of what I've done, but like I said, I'll literally link Beautylish website below So you can obviously go and do it for yourself. There's probably like hundreds of YouTube videos as well um, You know, it's not an uncommon thing to do especially in the drag industry So what I'm actually gonna do is I feel like I'm gonna draw in my brows with like a brownish sort of glittery shade and then I'll go in and add the glitter on top just so I can get a guideline of where I want my brows to sit so I'm going to take the Pat McGrath sh shadow palette so I know I have stated in the past that I don't like this and the issue I have with it is that the shadows crease on my eyelids but I have a different eyelid uh, primer to try out today as well with this I'm hoping it works but if not the glitter is going to go on top so I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue but I wanted to take this bronzy shade here and I'm going to take that on a Sigma E06 so it's just a nice fine brush so I'm just going to sort of draw in how I want my shape to be um, I don't know how this will work I might have to take like a brow pomade or something but this is just all trial and error so I'm just gonna go ahead and literally fill in my brow So then we have this sort of situation going on. Obviously, I just need to clean it up, but I'm going to clean it up once I get the glitter on. So to pack the glitter on, I'm going to use the um, NYX Glitter Primer. Um, so it's literally a glitter primer. So I'm just going to take a dot on the back of my hand. And then for glitters today, this is from Glitter by Chelsea and Abby. So this is really gorgeous gold. I don't know the name of it, but they've started putting like stickers on the bottom that tell you and stuff now. Um, but I'll link their website below. They're a little indie brand and I feel like it's literally spot on gold. There's a few little stars in it as well. So maybe we'll stick some stars on and stuff. But I feel like even if you just wanted bronze, you could just use this. But I want a little something extra, you know? Like it is really shiny. So I'm just going to take the same... Um, Sigma brush just to put the glue on and then I'll probably pack it on with a more denser brush So on the Peterson cream piece of the one brush, we're going to take that gold Okay, so we have a one brow on and I think we've got a pretty good Brow going on obviously some sort of glitter will fall down and stuff It's glitter. It gets absolutely everywhere um, But I did take a cotton bud and then my set of water and just sort of tried to clean up a bit of the glitter that's sort of fallen because obviously we still want it to look like a brow um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to finish off the other bright so what i'm going to do is i'm going to finish off the other bright the oh my god i can't get me words out the other eyebrow off camera and then we'll come back and we'll move on to the eyes and then obviously we'll do all the other stuff like base and that so yeah okay so now that the brows are on and i think that's as even as I'm gonna get to be honest obviously when you're not working with like your natural hairs how do people draw on fake brows I'll never know so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna well I've stuck tape down as you can see because she does like this winged gold look kind of thing so I'm just gonna take a little bit of the MAC soft ochre paint pot because what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut the crease but I just want a little bit of this down as well just because it stays quite matte and I feel like it's just better for my eyelids. And this is where we work a little bit backwards now. So I'm just going to take this sleek life proof concealer. So this is just in zero flat white. Sorry, zero one flat white. I'm going to take a peaches and cream PC51 brush. And I'm just going to place a little bit of this down. Look up. And then I'm just going to cut the crease. So where those little blobs sit, just go ahead and do that. And then when I get to the uh, corner, I just... So I don't need it to be too precise. I just want a guideline as to where I'm going to draw it. So we're going to go back into the same shade. And I'm going to take the same Sigma brush. Um, and just draw in where we put it. So I'm going to take this brush mainly for the bottom. Then I'm just going to move over to this. So this is just a nail art brush. I'm just going to draw in the line at the top. Then take in a Spectrum A16. I'm just going to really pack this on the lid. 
I'm only really putting this on just so if there's a bit of glitter that sort of misses and stuff, at least we've got a little, you know, something that's underneath that's like shimmery and golden. Um, obviously you can sort of skip this step if you wanted to and just go in with the gold, but I feel like it's just that nice added extra step to make sure it's really popping. I forgot I didn't highlight the brow bone, so I'm actually going to take this shade from the palette, this one right here, and just put that underneath the brow just to give it like something little extra so i'm just going to take that on the crown brush c510 and then now we're just going to add the glitter on so yet again taking the um nyx glitter primer but instead of taking it on the sigma brush to pack it on i'm going to take it on the spectrum a16 just so we can get a far better quick application with it when i get to the top i will take the real techniques fine liner brush and just sort of draw in And then add the glitter with this brush just so we can sort of keep it as clean as possible so we have this situation going on so i'm just going to repeat the same step to the other eye of camera as well as apply lashes and i think it doesn't really look like she's got a lot of lash so i'm going to go for a more natural lash so i think i'm going to take these from eye law and this is the enchanted lash edit i don't know if this was like limited edition or not but honestly you can get any of these type of lashes from eye law um, so yeah, I'm going to do that off camera and then we'll come back and we'll do the base and everything. Okay, so lashes are on and like I said, literally a little bit of lash, uh, just so we've looked like we've got a bit of saying and not just all gold, but I didn't want to add too much lash and then take away from the fact that we've done all this really hard work. So moving on to skin, I'm going to take the Revolution Glass Liquid Skin. So this is just a illuminating skin primer and I tried this out in a recent video. I'll link it in the eyes, like a drugstore video. And it did have coconut and cucumber, which ingredients like that tend to irritate my skin. But saying that, it was fine, like there was nothing wrong with it. So, fingers crossed, we're good to go with this. So you have got to give it a good shake because all the things is at the bottom. It's very, very liquidy, by the way. And I'm just going to take that on an elf stippling brush that I've managed to beat up. So, just taking a few drops over it. And then just buffing that into the skin. It does smell really nice. It's just fruit irritates my skin like so bad. I don't know why. Then for foundation, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. And this is in the shade 20 Ivory. So I'm just going to take a pump on the back of my hand. And just dot that onto the face. Then before I go ahead and blend it out, I'm just going to use some setting spray. So this is like a really glowy one. So I do want... I want dewy skin. I don't want like oily. But I do want a bit of like just to it you know so this is the i don't know if it's like nue or new uh so this is the get naked shake and spray and glow spray um i'm pretty sure this is in the shade exposed there's no name on it obviously when you shake it up you get this gorgeous color so i'm just gonna spritz that on then taking my beauty blender and just blending that in so in the video, obviously, she's using um, Pat McGrath foundation, like concealer and powder and stuff, which obviously I don't own. I was going to buy the foundation, but I've seen some reviews and it is very dewy. And I can understand people who be like, oh, okay, I'm going to go and block now. But I'm not one of those girls. I, I get it on and I honestly don't look throughout the day what it looks like. I want that foundation to stay that way, even though it looks so flawless. Um, I just, I can't be dealing with that. Like, I can't be going into the mirror like, oh, I need to blot now. Um, I barely, like, reapply lipstick. Like, I might stick a gloss back on and then, like, call it a day. Um, so, yeah, that's why I went with the L'Oreal one. Because even though it's, like, I say it's, like, medium to full coverage, it is very, like, natural aware. It is so, so pretty. Um, so that's why I sort of went for that. Because I know the pat one, I think it's, like, light to medium um so i wanted like something that was fresh but i don't have really anything that's like light um i am sort of either medium or full coverage kind of gal then for concealer i'm going to take the revlon uh photo ready candid concealer and this is in the shade 010 vanilla and i'm pretty sure this is like too dark for me it doesn't brighten a whole lot which i didn't really want because in the video it looked like it was just very not like one time but like there was a lot of definition but it was 
it wasn't very highlighted it wasn't very chiseled it wasn't like oh you know i've done a lot of work like her skin was like naturally flawless and she just enhanced it and that's what i'm trying to achieve kind of so i'm just gonna take a few dots of this So I've just applied that under eyes, forehead, nose, cupid's bow and chin. And what I like to do is I like to let this sort of sit for a minute or two before I blend it out. Just so it like sort of seeps into the skin rather than just sitting on top. It's so strange but Jackie I and I talked about it and honestly like I feel like it just does something different to my concealer. Usually it is very very dry under there. Um, and it still, it still can be dry but it's just fair you know. So I'm just going to sit there and do that. So now I'm just going to blend that out and I'm going to take the hourglass brush to do so. So this is the Seamless Concealer Brush. I'm just going to blend that through. I might pick up the Pat McGrath Concealer. That looks really nice. And do you know the under eye powder? Um, I know a lot of people rave about that. I've, honestly, like I've got my eye on lipsticks. But like my lipstick basket's like £200. And I was just like... I have like 4p. Does that help? <laughs> I'm just going to take a little bit of the Hourglass Valerie Touching Fluid and just a little bit of that on there as well. This just sort of brings back a little bit of luminosity to the under eyes. Doesn't make them look so dry. Um, I'm just going to blend that on my fingers. I don't wait for this to dry. This is perfectly okay. I've still got a bit of self-tanner on, so my foundation looks like it just does not match because the self-tanner has not come off and it's been like a week. Usually it's come off by now, which is really exfoliated to be honest. So to set the face, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury, so this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complecting Protecting Micro Powder in one fair. Got there in the end. I think I should just start saying Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder because everyone knows what it is. And I'm just going to take it on a Charlotte Tilbury um, Powder and Sculpt Brush. And we're just going to go ahead and set the entire face with this. This is such a fine powder. It just... It's not matte. It's not glowy. It just... Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the Hourglass Val powder. Like it just adds like this setting without caking, if you know what I mean. Like it's just almost like, okay, we're set and we're good to go. But this I feel like it's just a little bit more like flawless, like it says. I've set my face and I'm gonna go in with a cream highlight that I haven't used before. So we'll see how that goes. But to contour, I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs. This is the Insta Marking Mirage Filter, um, 40 Mirage Filter, and I'm just going to mix both shades on a Real Techniques contour brush. And we're just going to contour a little bit, not a lot. So I'm really just going to tap that off. Just add a little bit around the forehead and the cheeks. Then for bronzer, I'm going to take the Balm Cosmetic. So this is the Balm Desert Bronzer slash blush, and I'm just yeah, again, add in a little bit. I don't want a lot. So I'm just going to take it on the Spectrum C07. Again, really tapping off that excess. And just going in a little bit. Then for highlight, I'm going to take the Dominique Cosmetics. So this is a skin gloss. And this is in the shade Golden Dew. And I feel like this would be so pretty. Because it's going to be like, literally like it says, a skin gloss. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I've never tried this before. I've obviously swatched it, I did my big old fingers in it, that it comes off that way. Because uh, in the video you can see that she's got like this hint of shine, but it looks creamy. I don't know if it's, obviously I don't know if she's got a liquid on. I didn't really read the description too much, I don't think. I was just like, I want that look. So I'm just going to take it on my finger. By the way, if you're wondering where my nail varnish is from, you can see like it's colour changing. It's like thermal. Um, it's from For Your Nails Only. I'll link their website below. Um, I'm not pointing down below um it is called smoking ember and it is so beautiful um absolutely love this i'm gonna put a little bit on the cupid's bow yeah i feel like that's exactly what i wanted you know like that hint of gloss to the skin it's just really really pretty then on a spectrum a12 i'm just gonna take the product and pop a little bit on the inner corners and a little bit down the nose then for blush, I'm going to take the Luna Beauty. So this is the Moon Prince blush. And it looked like, from the picture, it was more bronzy and um, 
glow. I wouldn't say she really had much of a blush on. If she did, it might have been very natural. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take Pink Moon from the palette, which is this shade right here. And it's just a very natural pink blush. It's not a lot of colour. Well, there is. It's not a lot, but it's... That sounds like really bad. I'm like, it's not a lot of colour. But obviously, you don't want a lot in a blush. But it's just this nice pop of, like, pink, you know? Like, something like... Like, again, it's literally, like... I've got naturally flushed cheeks. So I'm just going to take that on a uh, Spectrum AO5. Then to finish it off, I'm going to take... Yeah, I'm going to take setting sprays before I sort of go in with um, mascara. So this is the Revolution Hyaluronic Hydrain Essence Spray. So I'm just going to spray this all over. Then I'm going to take the new Get Naked um, Shake Spray Glow setting spray thing and just spritz this on top. Just taking my beauty blender just to pants that in and almost like it looked like one because I didn't realise I sprayed that much and it's sort of come off very gold. So I'm just going to sort of see how I can blend it in. Now I'm just going to take some mascara. So this is the KVD Go Big or Go Home. So I'm going to apply this to the top and bottom but you're literally going to see none of this. You're going to see the top of my head. Then for lips, I'm just going to apply a gloss because it didn't look like she had an awful lot on. So I'm going to take the Glossier, um, this is a lip gloss and this is in clear transparent. And I'm just going to apply this to the lips. And then this is the finished look. I love how it turned out. I just think it's like a little bit extra, a little bit bold, something just, you know, fun to play with. Obviously, if you wanted to rock this look out, you totally could and I totally would, to be honest. I love gold brows. I want it to be a thing forever. <laughs> So yeah, this is the end of the video. Don't forget, I've left all the information for Pat's Instagram stuff so you can go and check it out yourself. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.